Hey, welcome to Live Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're gonna play Inuit. Inuit. The Snow People. The Snow People. Okay, Inuit is a, a tableau building game designed by Alexei Konov, Alexei Paltsev, Anatoly Shaklarov, and Trey Granik. Right. Published by Board and Dice. Um, plays two to four in about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. So, Inuit, the snow... The snow folk. Folk. Uh, what are we doing here? So, as Francis said, this is a card drafting tableau building game. Yes. Um, it's a very, very straightforward, simple game to play. Yes. Moves very quickly, uh, and we're going to jump right to it. Right. So, take a look at the table. We are competing tribes of the Inuit Yes. And we are snow folk going out into the Great White, which will be right here. <laughs> which is actually the Great Wood. Right uh, yeah, well, it's actually right here. <laughs> yeah. um, so the Great White is, is where we're going to get um, an opportunity to draft all sorts of things that are going to come out. Right. Um, the turns are very simple. You're going to populate the Great White. Mm -hmm. You're going to activate one of your... Like uh, worker, classes, worker peoples, and then um, and then add them to your tableau, right? So it's really, it, it's very quick paced, and it's really just drafting. So, mm -hmm. um, what is important to note here is we each have this starter board, right? And on this starter board uh, represents our village, and in our village, it's very meek. We only have one of each of these populations. Yes. I guess everybody else in the village is kind of just chilling, right? In the igloos, and they're letting everybody else do all the work. So, um, but each person in the village that um, has an occupation is going to be able to do certain things out in the, the great, great white. Right. So um, we can go through them really quickly. Yeah, yeah, I think so. so. Yeah, you want to jump sure. in? Sure. So, um, so the first we have the elder, and what the elder is able to do is actually recruit additional um, adults and children mm -hmm. into your um, into your tribe, I guess. Uh, and then your shaman will be able to draft from the great white uh, rites and spirits, and we'll talk about those as they come out. The warrior will actually be able to take uh, folks from the great white and take them as weapons. Well, the, um, the, uh, thematically, I think what's happening is you're just taking their weapons. After you dispatch <laughs> After you probably, them. Probably, yes. So um, it, in this game, what we're really going to be trying to do is draft people that match our color mm -hmm. into our community. Um, so we're trying to build our... our we don't our like outsiders tribe. Exactly. Here. So um, I think the warrior um, action, if you will, kind of represents like warring clans and things like mm -hmm. that. But what it means is you're going to end up acquiring weapons, which is cool. So um, next we have the whaler. So the whaler is only able to draft orcas, which we have one out right now. Uh, the bear hunter is able to draft polar bears. Yes. Uh, which will be for both of these will be for points. Seal trappers will trap seals, and then the scout action will allow us to bring out additional cards into the great white because again we're only able to draft what's out here. That's right. So. That's pretty much That's it. it. <laughs> like, quite literally, we're just going to yeah. go back and forth drafting cards, adding to our tableaus, um, drafting those rights and spirits, which do which trigger other actions. Right. Everything else you do is really for points. Yeah. Um, until we get to the bottom of this giant deck of cards, right. um, it goes pretty quickly though because you start to really the the, the key thing to note here is the more uh, you draft, so you're going to be drafting villagers in, and you'll have like two or three. Say you have two or three shaman, for mm -hmm. example. You can literally draft two or three shaman cards from the Great White if they're right. out there. So that's yeah. how powerful these moves will start to become. Right. Um, so you start taking chunks of cards into your village, you'll which see. is yeah, you'll, you'll see. see how it goes. So with that, uh, the first player is the person who loves cold the most. That would be you. I hate cold. So um, maybe so I, well, I apparently hate it more. So <laughs> you're gonna be player one, okay. and you can start us off. All right. All right. So we shall begin the game. Uh, so the start of uh, each round, you're going each to turn. each turn. I'm sorry, is you're gonna actually add to the great white. So we're gonna add one card to the great white, and it is a polar bear up for draft. Um, and now you can optionally draft an additional card using your scout, however many scouts you have. So I have one scout. I could do another one. I'm not going to right now. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, this is our timer, so we don't necessarily want them all to be out. So um, I think I will take my elder action, mm -hmm. and that allows me to recruit one person and i'm going to take a person of my my tribe 
affiliation. And then that person will go down here, and this is how we start to build our tribe. So she will be worth two no, points. she goes under the job you want to make her. Oh, but I want to add her under here. Oh, you want to make her an elder? Yeah, I'm oh, okay. Elder I was like, too. whoa. No, it's okay. Already. Yeah, I like to add the elders. No, that's smart. Then you're able to actually draft like two cards at the same time yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself. Um, you can always only draft as many as you have. Um, so that's, yeah. So, yeah, now you can draft two now at a time. No, that's smart. So. I, I'm, yeah, that, you normally yeah. don't do that. That's why it took me off by surprise. Right, right, right. I know, I'm trying a different strategy. Okay. So my turn, and like I said, it's just going to go back and forth. It yep. really doesn't matter which card you've got. So, we so yeah. we've got Orcas. Um, I'm going to draft Elder as well. So I'm going to draft another person. I'll probably put him here. So now this guy, Manuk, is, even though he's called Manuk the Bear, he is oh, a whaler. Oh, you're making him a whaler? Okay. So it is your turn. Okay. Um, I will take my... Elder action again. First, uh... Oh, yeah. Refill. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to take my Elder action again. And now I can draft two individuals into my tribe. That's right. So I will take these two. And I'm going to put the child under here. He's going to become a whaler. Now, it's important to note that I took this child does not match any of my like affiliated colors here mm -hmm. so your the children are going to include two colors um they're always a mix of two different tribes they are which is exactly. odd because the tribes are at war exactly i know yet all the children are a blend right but when we score at the end of the game we're actually going to lose points for those uh cards that have, if we have any members that like aren't part of our tribal mm -hmm. affiliation yep uh, and i'm going to use this guy also and i think oops no i'm going to put him under polar bears i think and i think i'll put him under here okay all right so i'm gonna draft one it's a purple mm. all right so i'm gonna use my whaler like again mm -hmm. I, I could scout and add another card but i won't because my, my whaler now i have one two whalers i can draft both of these whales nice. and they go oh, up here up. right above and that's how yes. we'll score at the end okay oh my goodness wow there's three ah, i should have made him a polar bear yeah um so i'm gonna take my polar bear Actually, I'll just take these two. I'm just going to slide these down like this. All right. I will refresh the great white. So we have another green dude. Okay. So I've got... I'll just draft him. This child will become an elder. Nice. <gasps> That's what I'm talking okay. about. Um, And I'm going to use my scout action on mm -hmm. the optional and do another. Oh, nice. That's and I'm going to take my elder action and take these two. And I will... Maybe make this one. We'll do this like that. Okay. So they got one. Ooh, nice. I will scout another one. Oh, the rites <gasps> of sacrifice. Move one into it from within your village to weapons. Perfect. So that's good for you. <laughs> yeah, that allows you to get villagers. Yeah. Uh, weapons means they're face down in the warriors, so right. they don't count as villagers anymore. Yeah. You just, you basically. It's the right of sacrifice. You're sending them off to the promised land. Yes. Uh, I will take this child. Okay. And make this child a. Maybe I'll make him a bear hunter. Who's bear hunter? I don't know. Oh, mm. the orange tribe. That's true. Um. Take another one for my scout. Oh, it's a seal. Okay. Um, I will take this. So I'll use my shaman spirits and take this. And that activates right away. So I put this up here to show that it's one of my rights and, well, this is a right in this case. And then I can do that. So I'm going to, I guess, sacrifice this. This poor child. For his weapons. <laughs> Turn him into weapons. Give me your weapons. So. All right, so I'll take that. The right of the fertile game. Each player who has more game cards in their village than are in yours discards one game card. Mm. Uh, we are equal, we so are. that's not really worth it yet. Not yet. So I'm going to scout a second card. And wow, there's so many of these people out here. I know. <laughs> Ooh, okay, what well, I'm probably just going to hunt a bear. Okay. And that's it. 
Spooky. Oh, seals. More seals. I need a seal trapper. <laughs> <laughs> At least another one. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I think I will take my I'll take my elder action. Mm -hmm. And I will take a child. And we want one of those orange people. I don't know. I'm going to put this person here. No, I'll just take that one person. Okay. So I will. Wow, there's so many non. I know. Non villagers out here. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, so, that's perfect. The child it's of a our child villages. of our village. <laughs> so I'm going to take. I'll take these two. Okay. Uh, I'll make this child a seal trapper. You have like your entire village's children. <laughs> it's all kids. Like we're really putting them to work. Uh, yeah. This is where it gets tough. I'm going to make her a warrior. Okay. Oh, that's a good she's idea. Of, she's Karima. Karamo of the Karamo. house. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a polar bear. Um, I will do my seal trapper person take these seals okay very good i will bring out one mm. and i'm gonna use my warrior to nice. take two That's of them good, and drop them drop them down and take their weapons okay drop them down and pick them up you drop them down and pick them up i'm gonna use my scout to scout for whoops <sighs> wow that was weird one more um and i will use my elder and take these two i'm gonna do the same so okay that will be. I'm gonna use them as a warrior. No, yeah. I'll use this as a warrior, and then I'm gonna use this person as a weapon. You okay. can't do that. Oh why? Because you oh. have to use your warrior. Oh, that's to right. Create you use the warrior to get the weapons. Like, that's oh, that'd be easy. All right, I'll just make them a bear hunter. Then. Yeah, it's the thing. You have to put them in your village. Yeah, and you can't take more than one act. Like you Scout? might want to take more than one action, which is tricky. Yeah. Take some seals. Ooh, oh, you've got yes. two children out there. That's gotta great. take them. I gotta take them. Gotta catch them all. I like Pokemon. All. <laughs> yeah, I like Pokemon. I'm gonna bring out two. Ah, oh, man. Oh, what do I wanna do? So, again, we have these fertile game ones. Each player has more games. She has four. I have more. Yes, it's not gonna really. Yeah. So, I'll take a bear. Uh, yeah, I'll take a bear. I'll do palers. And maybe, I don't know where I want to put this person. Bear hunter? Thing is, you never have like three bears come out at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I know. Maybe we'll just do more warriors and take more. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. All right. So here we go. Oh, Jeez. very good. Each player who has more spirits and rights in, in their, their village, village. Yours discards one spirit. Oh, that's cool. We don't have any spirits oh. out though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these that's are, right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Each player has that's more so game right. cards in their village than are in yours, discards one game card. Oh, yeah. Well you don't have we have the same amount? No, I've more. got way more than you now. I've got six. Wait, what? Game oh game cards. See I always think they mean game cards as in, like, as in in the game of inuit card <laughs> yes no they mean actual these are this is game right whales oh, right. bears and seals i might have to take those you might take that take that did i bring out a scout yet i didn't right no um okay i'll take out one. Oh my god there's three of them now you need to get those I have off the to board take those off the board all right yeah, so I'll take one of each. I'll take all three of these. Just well, the first one will knock me down one. The right. second one will knock me down another. Now we're even. And now we're even, right? Yep. Four. So, okay. So these go out of the game. They go. They go on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, this had to go. That was a disaster. Yep. All right. So now they actually go. It was two cards. Yeah. They yeah. go. They go out of the game completely. Not that it, it really. It may or may not because yeah. of the timer, depending on where the. Because there's a. Yeah. There's a <laughs> night. That yeah. There's like a, 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 a night card basically that that the long night I think it's called. Uh -huh. 
that will trigger end game. When that card comes up, it's once all players have an equal amount of turns, like right. game's over. Exactly. So um, it's within the last 10 cards of that deck. Right. So that's the timer. So I will go, boom, Orca. I Let's thought go. you, oh yeah, I did just go. Grab both of those, okay. it's my turn. Um, oh, nice. I'll scout. Mm. Oh, the Owl Spirit. Ooh! Two victory points for every Elder. That's really nice. Yes, Queen! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Queen. <laughs> so funny. Um, um, I'm going to take all three of these. All right, so hold on. So Play one go. first. Okay, so each player who has more spirits and rights in their village than are in yours okay. discards one spirit. So I okay. have to take that. Yep. Um, move one Inuit from within your village to weapons. Uh -huh. So goodbye, Sila of the Sky. Oh. And then the Owl. So what this does, I think this is our first spirit that we've gotten, and really these are going to give you end game goals mm -hmm. or end game uh, points. Points. So this is the Owl Spirit of Wisdom. Two victory points for every Elder. So now right. this gives me kind of something to work towards. Yes, it does. Um, in addition to just getting. So I'm going to scout one more. We have a seal and a person I don't want, but I'll take the seal. Okay. Your turn. I'll take one more for scouting. Mm. Ooh, nice. I will take those orca whales. Very good. Very good. One and one for scouting. I'll take the bear. <laughs> You're up. Good. So many non-village people. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, well, I can take three for my warrior class, you can, you can so I'm just going to take all three of these people. Okay, so I will draw one plus one for scouting. That's two. I'll take both of them. Mm, those are my peoples. I know. Uh, I'll, make, I'll make this dude a scout. Okay. And I'll make this dude a shaman. Nice. And I'm going to do... Uh, actually, I'm going to make him an elder. Okay. And I'm going to do one for scouting. Okay. Ooh, nice. Um, I will take both of these. All right. So I'm going to do one, and now I get to do two for scouting, because I have another scout. One, two. Ooh, man. Um, how many points do we lose for conflict? Minus two per card. Minus two per card, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put make this guy an elder then. So I'm going to bring him in. Because I'm getting two points for every elder. That's right. So he's basically like sitting there for free. That is right. So I will bring this guy out and make him a shaman. A shaman. Okay. Or her. It's the her. mother of bears. Oh, it's the mother of bears. <laughs> One. Oh, there's a person for you. Yeah. Oops. Dog. His name is... His name is Dog. Dog. <laughs> I wonder if he's uh, a bounty hunter. He could be. Then he would be Dog the Bounty Hunter. He would, I know. <laughs> he said he could be. He looks like he could definitely be a Bounty Hunter. Um, I am going to do Seals. Okay. And I'm going to draw one, and then two more for Scouts. Mm. One, mm. two. Mm-hmm. So I can draft up to three, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, no, I'm gonna just use my warrior weapons and, <laughs> and kill off my people. <laughs> kill two of them. No. <laughs> yeah, we don't want them floating around out there. I get it. I get it. You did that to me shame, last time. Too so. No, I know. And I'll do one. You can do the same back. Oh, I you could. got people. Or I could get my people and just. It's all villagers now. What? I said it it's is. all villagers know, out there. I know. Um, I could take up to four people. Yeah. Wow. But I don't, I, I'm not gonna be able to get rid of all those people. I know. <laughs> that's the problem. Well, yeah. Well, actually, if I, as long as I put them in my elders, they're free. Right. It's an offset. You know what that's I mean? That's true. That's true. So theoretically I could, but it's not like they're going to do anything for me mm -mm. except not be in your community. Not be in my, <laughs> not be part of my growing community. You know what I mean? Um... And we don't get points for them at all. Nope. So, um, I'll take this person. 
I I guess I'll just take these pairs then. Sit. Yeah, I guess. Mm, there you go. I'm gonna take all three. Yep. <laughs> wow, what do I wanna be? Well, I can make a another maybe like another bear guy. Yeah. Maybe like another seal trapper. And like another scout maybe yeah yeah that's where that's dog good. the bounty hunter belongs oh and then one oh draw three cards from the deck and add them to the great oh wow oh. that's in huh. interesting that's interesting that is worth it though mm. you know mm-hmm um I'll just take these three. Make them weapons? No, yeah. I'm gonna make them elders. Oh, wow, okay. Just to get them off the board. So I will draw one and then three more. One, two, two. three. three. Mm, All right. Good. All right, so I'm gonna take that uh -huh. and that. Nice, oh yeah, that's good. And that, uh, and I can only take no. two. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely take these two, right? So this uh -huh. one allows me to move an Inuit from within your village to your weapon. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. get rid of this scout here that is from your village. Yeah. Oh, and then the so seagull, that. which will give me two points for every polar bear. Yeah, that's really good for you. All right, now it's your turn. All right. <gasps> Look at all these polar bears. The polar bear. Um, more for scouting. Oh, the rite of passage. Each player who has more Inuit in their village than are in yours discards one Inuit. Oh yeah, I like that one. I know you do. I'll take the polar bears. Polar bears, polar bears. Take your rights. All right. All right. One. I can draw up to two more. One. Mm. Let's take these two. Add them to my village. Get in my village. Oh, girl. Uh, one for scouting. One. Put him here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think actually, I'm just going to take this and this. Oops. Okay. What does it say? This is just the... I think I have more Inuit cards in my village, don't I? One, yeah, two, you three, have a lot four, more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, yep. Okay. So not that many more, but no, so... just more. I'm just taking it for the point, though. And then this. So the draw right of inspiration. Three draw cards. three cards from the deck. Yeah. Add them to the great white. I'm, can I put these? Like, all the way over. One, two, yeah, three. why not? Okay. Okay. So, I guess I'll take the seals. You're not going to draw? You oh, yeah, I have to draw. Sorry. I had so many cards. I was like, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Wow. Mm. More people, huh? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't know if I want to draw more. I think for now, I'm going to just take three of these. Okay. And take their weapons. Mm. And let you go. Okay. Mm. Wow, so many seals. I'm a scout. So many workers. Let's see, do I want three seals or two orcas? It's literally six of one and half a dozen of well, another. <laughs> since you can't take three seals, uh, you probably want to oh, take two I orcas. Oh, I can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are you just saying that because you can take three oh, seals? Oh, I can take three seals, yes. But either way, if you want to take two seals, that's fine. Too. Okay, got it. Uh, so I'll go one. Uh, I can draw two good. more. One, two. Ooh, what's it's a that? caribou. Two point for every shaman. Oh, that's interesting. Good. Huh. Uh, but I'll just take the three point. seals. Okay. Go on a seal hunting expedition. Mm. Oh, the Arctic trout. One, one point for every, for every orca. orca. That's what? good too. And one for scouting. Ooh, more people. A lot of good peoples out there. Okay. I'm gonna 
go one, and I'll take all three of these. Mm. Shaman. Yeah. One. And one for Scout. Oh. Mm. I'm going to take these three for okay. you. You turn them into weapons? Yep. So one and then one, two more. One Inuit from your village into weapons. Take the polar bear. It's a good one. Yep. They're worth a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Two Ooh. for every warrior. Ooh. Nice. And move one into your weapons. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. I'll take these two. Okay. And we'll do... Move one Inuit from your village to your weapons. So we'll take this guy. Put him in the weapons. Okay. I dropped three. One. What? What? <laughs> Look at all the seals. I know. <laughs> Two. <laughs> um, take three of them. Three. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. I'll take the two orcas. Really? Actually, yeah. <laughs> Huh. Wow. Okay. This is seal season. It's like a little ridiculous, though. I think. Yeah. You can only take two seals. Mm hmm. And one polar bear. I'll just take the bear. All right. So I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to take any more. I'm just going to take, take three seals. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Two for every Ooh. scout. Oh, and another seal. Another seal. I don't have any scouts. I'll just take two seals. Okay. So I'm going to draw one. And I'll take all three That's seals. That's ridiculous. That's six points a pop. I know, but... Wait, six points. There are two each. Oh, six points. Every time I grab it, yeah. Pop. Oh, every turn. Oh, yeah. All I've right. got so many seals There's right one. now. And one for Scout. And I will take all three of these. All right. So I go one, and then <laughs> two Scouts. Yeah. I can go up to two more. One, mm. two. I'm going to take both of yeah. these. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. One for every seal. I know. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's the one. One and then one. Um, oh, good. My people are out. Uh, I'm going to take this because I don't want to have to get rid of a spirit. Oh, that's fair. So I'm going to go one and then one and then one. Two more. Each player who has more spirits and rights in their village discards <laughs> a spirit. Huh. Oh, actually, I only have three, and you have three. No, spirits. Yeah. Oh, and, spirits rights. and rights. You oh, have okay. more, all yeah. of it in total. You would have to get rid of it. Yeah. But I'll just take the polar bear. Okay. All right. One. We gotta be getting close to this I dark so. night, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to have to take these wheels. Okay. So I will draw one. And then up to two more. Oh, uh, nightfall. Nightfall. So this is it. That's it, yeah. Uh, so I will draw both of them. Okay. So, so draw three cards, add it to the deck, right? And then you have to discard a spirit card. Um. So I would just add three, but it doesn't matter because our turns are over. Yeah. The polar night fool has arrived. It has. I guess that's going to be four. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess this is the one to get rid of. That's skin. Right. 
And now we score. That's the game. Oh yeah, I don't get another ch another chance, do I? Nope. As long as everybody's taking an equal amount of turns, Which it's we over. Have, yeah. yeah. Okay. So cool. Let's score it up. up. All right. Break out the score pads. The score pad. That's a very nice score pad. Can you see yeah, it? Yeah, you have to come up. Move it up. You can probably put it up here. Okay. Like right there. All right. All right. So. Okay. First things first. We score Inuit. Inuit. And their, their numbers are on the bottom. So basically we're going to get two points for each mm -hmm. adult. Yep. And one point for each child because they're like only half hours. Of your village. Yes, of your village. So, so. hold on. This was and more. keep them in, yeah, keep know, them in the columns because we're going to be scoring for some right, other so. stuff. So one, two, three, six, seven. Twenty. Okay. Okay. Now minus victory points if you have folks from other villages. I do. I have one, so I minus two. Okay. And I have one, two, so I have minus four. Okay. okay. Um, so game cards. Game now. cards, yeah. So count them up. Tell me what you got. Whew. I have fifty-eight points in game cards. Fifty-eight points. Um. 18, 20, and twelve. So that's 40. 18 I mean, and 12, it's 60. 60, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you made it sound yeah. like my 58 was so I outrageous. Forget, like how many game, how much many points we get for game. Uh, weapons. All right, weapons. Eight. Eight? Yeah. And they're one point each, right? Mm -hmm. I have 12. Okay. Okay. Rights. Yeah. So this is just the points on the right cards, not the spirits. So I have six points in rights. Okay. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. Okay. Now spirits is where it adds up. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So I have 12 for that, two for every shaman, so I have four, and one for every orca. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So it's 22. So I get two for every scout, so I get two points. Mm -hmm. Two for every polar bear. One, two, three, four, five. That's 10, so that's 12 in total. Mm -hmm. And one for every seal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's another 10 points. That's 22. Conflicts? We're not playing with conflicts. No, nope, we're, we're legendary. legendary. So that's so. it. Tally that's it up. It. My goodness. So let's see. What are we looking at here? Ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, 20? 20. 58. Okay. Eight. Eight. Six. Six. 22. 22. Minus two. Minus two. 112. Okay. And? 16. 16. 60. 60. 12. 12. 13. 13. 22. 22. Minus 4. Minus 4. 119. Oh, so close. Very close. All right. All cool. right. Let's go talk about it. Let's go talk about it. All right. Inuit. Inuit. The snow folk. I think we did a good job building our snow villages. We did. Even though you killed a couple of my people. I certainly did. Not enough, apparently. <laughs> Not enough. Just like a couple too too few. <laughs> yes, too few. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's talk about this. It plays really really quickly. Um, it does. And uh, I, uh, I don't even know where to start. You don't even know where to begin. Replayability. Yeah. Um, it's always a good place. Yes, it's always a good place <laughs> to start. No, I was thinking about this because it's such an easy game to just take out and play. There's yeah. not a lot going on 
from a component standpoint. So literally you take out this board and mm -hmm. this deck and then you start playing. Yeah. Um, so replayability for me is really, really high because there's always something new that you're kind of going for. Yeah. And it's easy to, to get to the uh, table. And I'd say I agree with the far as far as you say replayability goes mm -hmm. from just a getting it to the table, getting right. it set up, getting it played. Um, variability where is where it may kind of suffer. Right? Yeah. Because the game, although you'll have a difference in stuff uh, as far as like what comes out. It's like out, pretty much the same experience. It is. Yeah, time. the experience won't change, yeah. right? So you're always going to have the same starting, you know, villagers. You're always going to have right. basically the same cards. Now, with that said, that's we're talking strictly the base game, right? Exactly. Now, they've added two modules that came with the game. Uh, one sort of adds a lot more take that. Mm-hmm. A lot more the take The conflict. That. Yeah, it's conflict. One. Yeah. Um, and then you have this legendary one. Um, that adds like some uh, like seasonal things, I think. Right. Where you, you, you pick certain cards for each season and they'll come up while the deck's going through. Right. So it kind of changes like the overarching rule for that season mm -hmm. and it kind of adds certain flavors but to I it. But I think your your experience still is going to be pretty much It's going to be the, the same. same. Yeah. Um, so it's like breaking out any other like card game mm -hmm. where it, everybody shares the same deck right. and you're all just drafting from the deck like those games they get a lot of table time uh -huh. even though the experience is always similar because it's right. just a matter of maybe because there's a lot of luck involved in this in a matter of there when is, the cards yeah. come out and when you're able to draft them right so you, you people see that as as giving the play, the replayability. So there's a lot of different ways you can look at replayability, mm -hmm. but I think from our perspective, yeah, we least, always like to break it up. Yeah. So, I think um, we can kind of from there we can kind of talk about the audience because mm -hmm. I think with the with the lack of variability, um, but the high like replayability sort of get it to the table and play. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it does open up. It's a very light game. It is. Um, and it I is. Think that the uh, knowing what to expect every time you play is one of those features that's really good for games that you do want to play with like brand new gamers and also um, younger folks. So right. the kids and stuff, I think would be able to pick up on this. Oh well, yeah, it's grasp very simple it and understand it, and then be able to play it every time without getting too too frustrated because you right. know what to expect every time. Um, as, hey, what makes yeah. it even easier is that. It's set collection, but you're all collecting the same sets. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just trying right. to find the best way to build your engine to be able to grab more of that set before anybody else and right. hope that they come out into the great way while you have the opportunity to draft yeah. them. Like, so th there's, it's a lot of it's more about timing. It's not so much about, you know, you can't like strategically set things up to mm -hmm. be able to make a swooping play because the cards may not work out that exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, and if you're playing with more people, then that great white is going to shuffle even more drastically than right. you saw it you know, do so for us. Yeah. So, um, okay, great. Let's talk about theme and components. Mm -hmm. uh, the theme is really cool. I, I, yeah, oh, yeah. And they did a lot of research into the Inuit population and uh, the they're in the, I think in, even in the rule book, there's like a whole like history right. of like, you know what is going on with this population and uh, everything was really well researched so even though you know we have this mechanism where like we're kind of like killing people off for the warriors mm -hmm. and stuff it's very historically accurate okay um and culturally accurate so i, I do appreciate that and the art is absolutely beautiful yeah i, I think really that love the art that also one. adds to replayability in my opinion what does the art, art. Yeah, uh, art so components, you. right? Because yeah, if it's absolutely. if it's not pretty to look at, yeah. I'm always like, eh, do I really like, want to put this out? That, but, but when you have this on the table, like the, the art is so beautiful mm -hmm. that it really is that you don't mind looking at these cards for you know a while and, and looking at them over and over again because they're all sort of unique. That the I art really like is the really detailed. The, the spirit cards like are really owl. cool. They're all, you know thematically they all kind of make sense. So mm -hmm. it it really it just helps. Yeah, the enjoyability. I agree with that, and I think like with a lighter game like this one, mm -hmm. having that theme. This is a really good example of a game where the theme really came through. Mm -hmm. Like I think from a art component and like just full on theme integration standpoint, yeah. it all came together really well. And you need that. At least I need that in like a lighter game to get me back to the table playing it over and over again. Because ten, you know, typically tend to like heavier stuff. But. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to say about components, though, uh -huh. is that like these boards are cool, mm -hmm. but the hardest part about learning and playing this game <laughs> is the fact that you have to remember that these represent one member yes. of your tribe. Right. So when you start the game, you don't have any you know tribes people assigned mm -hmm. to these jobs. 
you still do have a power of one. So you have right. to say, oh, I need to get myself a bear hunter so I can get bears. No, you already have one right. based on this board. Maybe this could have been done in a different way that make yeah, it more, and, like well, make a dude on here. And I know and, the one of the things we, we struggled with was, I don't want to say struggled, but um, in the rules, I think it even says like you add, you know your power of your action mm -hmm. by taking the number of cards you have and then adding one. Right. So, so when we sat down to play, we're like, well, do we include the one that's already on our board or or is well, that the plus one that is the plus one yeah that's so, the plus one which i think yeah. is, is a little confusing yeah maybe they should have named well they did name them but it's they just did. not list labeled in a way that's right. very intuitive um, so just make sure now you know now you know <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it yeah, yeah. but that it's was my like only that. my only nitpick about this yeah was that bit uh, but did you have fun yeah it's a fun game yeah. I, I absolutely i think so we 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 had no idea what we were walking into when we played this one no no um and what drew us to it and want to to want to review this was right. the art like yeah i'm, I'm a sucker for like just really nice clean like realism art right but that doesn't look too real yeah it's like a little it's a little fantastic and i mean that in the way of like it's, fan it's fantastic <laughs> really? well like it's it's like fantasy art in a way but looks but real. It's still sur it's like surreal. So yes. really small, some kind of. Thing. I like yeah. this art. This art style is is up my alley. So when I saw yeah. it, I just figured, let's see how the game goes. And yeah, they, plus uh, it was tableau building, and I was like, okay. I'm yeah, gonna and it's you know, we like to get a mix of lighter versus heavier mm -hmm. games on the channel because yeah. we don't want just heavy because not everybody. I guess we get a lot of backlash on three hour plus videos. You know, a lot of you love them. A lot of people don't love them. But yeah. at the end of the day, we don't care. We're just going to mix it up anyway. Right. Yeah. So I would say um, as far as expectation goes for this one, I would have like, I, this is like kind of just a comment. I think I would have liked to have sort of like a, um, like a guide going into the game where mm -hmm. it wasn't so much. We have the same setup. Yes. And it's more like, here's your goals for your tribe. And I think that would have been really yeah. easy to add. Is just like one, or you know, or an, even like a small deck of like goal cards, or you know, something that you're kind of trying to go for, um, and you get that throughout the game with the spirits, uh, because you're getting like the two points for every elder, right, right, but you get right. them a little bit later on in the game, so it's kind of like, well, I hope you know, I hope you have a whole lot of seals so that you can get that card. Um, so to be more intentional from the very beginning about how you're building your tableau would be kind of cool uh, for I think like maybe a little bit like heavier gamers. So maybe in the future, yeah. that's an idea. That's an idea. So, okay. Anything else you want to say? No, I think that's it. All right. So uh, there you have it. Uh, Inuit, the snow folk. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. See you next time. See ya.